Hello friends, welcome to our website etltestingtutorial.com. Today I am going to explain you how to download and install the SQL developer. The last session is on the how we can download and install the SQL plus that comes under Oracle database and SQL developer is one of the utility to work with the Oracle database. Let's see how we can work with that. So let's search for the SQL developer. and it's uh, again a product by oracle only and my control will be passed to this page so the very first thing that we'll do if you look at which file you want 64 bit or 32 bits software that you need or you want to work with the linux platform where you want according to your system requirement you can download the file and before click on, clicking on this download tab you must accept this license agreement and then just click on to this download and when you click on download it will ask you to log in into the oracle account if you don't have your account you can create it's completely free of cost and within last session i already explained how to work within the oracle this account so this is how it will look like so you will write your credentials your username and password wait a minute let me write and when you click once this on the sign in your file will start downloading this sql developer right actually i already have so this is how it will look like this is sql developer and the it you you'll work with the 64 bit windows so what you need see this is something that comes within the winrar format so we want to extract the file right so just click on to that and click on to this extract to this one and it will take around uh, one to two minutes to convert into the file that we need and just remember one thing this file that we are, will work with it's something that will come in a folder we, we shouldn't need to install it on our system it, it it will come like a simple application by just clicking on that the application will open and with with the help of which we'll interact with the oracle database if you look at how the sql plus or how the in the last session how i explained how to open the sql plus for the oracle this is how it will look like run sql command line and if i open it how this is how it will look like and within this if i want to if you if i want to work with we write the system and the password okay that is for the sql plus the the foremost utility to interact with the oracle database right so it is if you look at yeah this is what we'll get so sql developer a folder is coming just open that folder and yeah this is what i was looking for so sql developer this is the application if i click once on that see for oracle database we were getting a setup file but in case of sql developer we are getting the application if i double click on that the sql developer file will open this is the complete application and if you it will take around 15 to 20 seconds to open yeah so these all are the command these all are the uh, connection strings that i have already created but for the very first time this is how it will look like the page will look like this there there will it, it will not contain any of the users for the first time and this is one of the uh, sql file that i have already created right so this is how it will come it will open up and just remember one thing if i was working with the oracle database for sql plus i was just looking for sql command line and it was opening like this but now what about sql developer how it will come if i search for sql developer it is not giving me any option to open the application for that this is where both are different this is the first difference between sql plus and sql developer this is again one of the client utility to interact with the oracle database but we can't install that on our system on our on our machine right so if i want to op open this sql developer so what we'll do just go to that part go to the location where it is downloaded this complete file is present and just open the sql developer or you can do one thing just right click on that and go for 
this there is an option pin to start if I click on to this and uh, if I if you click if you open this uh, Windows button actually it was already there let me remove unpin from start for the very first time if you op if you click on to this pin Windows button it is uh, nothing is coming but now if you select this pin to start so just right click on that and go for pin to start can you see so this is how it will come you can pin that to the uh, start panel if you are working with Windows 10 I am working with window Windows 10 or you will get the option to pin that onto the task bar onto this bar you can also pin that okay like we get the option to open the file explorer or the chrome or the firefox you will also get the option to open the sql developer this is the first difference or the second thing see within sql plus within this sql command line if i write the command com, uh, connect if i if i want to connect with the system user or if i write the command to look at all of the users that are present within the all the all of the users name username that are present within the dba that table so we are getting the list of all of the users few of the users are extra that i haven't uh, shown you how to how to how to create those users that things are explained within the recorded sessions okay so these are two commands i have written this is the result set for that and if i close if i click on to this close button it is not asking to store those queries if i again open this sql command line it is not showing me any of the query that i have written before closing this but within sql developer we'll get this option to store our queries to store our uh, commands that i have uh, written before closing that let's say if i uh, make made some changes within this some changes i have made and if i click on this close button it is saying do you want to save the changes or not before closing so sql developer is the way to store the queries to uh, to save the queries for the future use and this is how it will come uh, it will look like if i click on to this open i have this option and the uh, extension to of the file in which it will be stored is dot sql right so this is uh, again one of the uh, one more difference between or if you look at this module number nine in which i have explained all of the steps to work with sql plus or to work with sql developer how to create the users how to create the instance with that these all things are explained in module number nine the current session is only on the overview of how to install and how to uh, work with the sql developer the next session will be on how to download and install the informatica server and the informatica client onto our system